All right, so I'm here in Portland, Oregon. Uh, I had to ride out in the rain because we've, uh, of course, the rain only happens when I'm riding a bicycle uh, in the summertime. It doesn't happen when I'm uh, driving, right? Well, it happens all the time. Okay, so we're under the St. John's Bridge, Portland, Oregon, at a uh, small uh, setup. We're, we're kind of in the uh, uh, defiance land here, right? We've got the, uh, the improvised stuff, but this is what we have for the retail establishment for decent solar equipment here. And so this is Miles. He's uh, he's a owner and operator of uh, Light Harvest Solar, uh, Miles Heiner. And we were just talking before I turned the camera on about how there's not there's very few places where you can walk in a door and buy this equipment in the Pacific Northwest. Right, right. I mean, very little of it. And even at that, you, you, you almost never find knowledgeable salespeople. I mean, I've been over right. to some big name electrical supply places. They really don't know to stop. They're nice people. They want to help. They just don't know. Right. And we deal a lot with mail order companies and a lot of stuff that's maybe it's on Amazon, maybe it's on eBay or something. A lot of stuff coming from China because that's where most of it's where made right being now. Made, right. And you, you, a lot of times you're not dealing with anyone who's tested it, who's personally used it. Uh, you'll see some of the same component type stuff that I use in my systems because this was the guy I was first buying those DM solar panels from and pricing here is it's basically if you don't want to take the time to wait for your packages to show up it's it's relatively reasonable i think you're you're 190 bucks for the dm the yeah for the 145s uh there's a lot of a lot of smaller charge controllers here that have been tested um there's a few that you, you've just got to buy them for evaluation and that's is, that's yeah, a big part what of what's going on you're Tell me a little bit about this one that came in, and it's okay, but it, it was advertised to you as MPPT. We find out that it's PWM, and it's a decent PWM, but it's among the many things you got to look out for as Absolutely. we're figuring this stuff out. Well, you want to tell us a little bit about? Sure. Um, so I, you know, I got this uh, MPPT hoping to have it be able to transform uh, the higher voltage panels down to a lower voltage, a 12 volt system. Um, I, uh, when I got it, I hooked a, a meter going into the solar panel, in from the solar panel, uh, into the charge controller, and then another meter out to the battery. So you had a meter measuring what was going in, measuring what was going out, and then this has a digital uh, display that also tells you uh, what it's supposed to be doing. And what I found was that it was not what was the the voltage going in was essentially the same as the voltage going out, uh, and it was not a higher voltage. The the controller seemed to be limiting it to around 20 volts, and um, the amperage was not nearly as high as it should have been. It was low, like the higher voltage panel. Um, was rated at so normally what you'd expect to see is the higher voltage uh, bump uh, higher voltage lower amperage going in uh, Lower voltage higher amperage coming out of a proper MPT and PPT what happened here was that it would never go above the rated amperage of the panel Right, and I also took it apart to see if there was a DC to DC converter uh, Not one that I could identify in there certainly no coils that I could see so um, my conclusion is that it does not have the proper MPPT function that it was um, right. advertised as having. And so I, it, I will I'll only sell it as a, you know, lower voltage panels. should work fine for lower voltage panels that are already um, proper for 12 volt right. And And that's just part of, you know, how we got to test this stuff. Like, uh, we have both used those LCD 30s from time sure. to time. I've used them. I find out if you put them under stress, they got problems. Yeah. If it's just for running some lights and stuff, that's okay. Uh, so I came, I came out here and I'm, I'm upgrading my mobile workshop to a Xantrex, uh, which, you know, pretty reasonably priced. Uh, yeah, I could get it on Amazon a little cheaper, but there's waiting around for the UPS truck to show right. up. There's all that kind of stuff. And supporting a local business here in Portland, too, which a lot of people are not yet aware that, and it's not totally storefront here, but it's getting going. And But the big thing is there's a lot of consultants out there, a lot of people who talk to talk, and they don't have the merchandise at all. And that's one of the things I've run into because sure. I've sold this stuff from time to time. They, they talk to talk, and they have no merchandise whatsoever. A lot of times they're even selling something they've never tested, never seen. And right. you hear, you know, we see panels, you, you get them by the, by the box or pallet because it's the only way to be cost effective sure. when you're buying a bunch. 
and different sizes, different stuff. Um, if this is all run off of solar. Yeah. This whole thing is a one for, run off a single 145. Um, summertime, I'm down here a little more than normal, so it's starting to tax the batteries, and the weather hasn't been great, but um, I haven't plugged into shore power for six months. Mm -hmm. since I had to run power tools in the middle of the winter. Yeah, so, so and, and again, it's a solar run business, absolutely. which which is amazing how you run into a lot of other places, they're on the grid, I mean, or they're just charging way a whole, a whole lot of money. I don't yeah. know, like I told you a little bit about... Um, Camping world. And, uh, yeah. And they're, everybody, the, the RV and the um, boat industry are the worst. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, they really are. Oh, and the boat industry yeah, stuff, they're, they're, they're crazy. They're living in uh, 2008. Yeah. Or something like that. But, um, and, um, prices have come way, way down. So it's a, a lot more viable than it ever has been in the past. Yeah. And you've seen a lot of, a lot of RV people, a lot of alternative, like, like people living in, in, in RVs Absolutely. or boats. They're coming out, right. they're getting set up. Right. And that's the whole thing about not having to plug in the shore powers right. off and, and not or having a generator. Short, yeah. Right. Yeah, or not having to shortchange a lifestyle as far as, you know, right. running the electrical toys we all enjoy. Right. So, um, yeah, just so you know, I'll put a link to the website, but it's it's Light Harvest Solar. Uh, www.lightharvestsolar.com. Okay. One word. Yeah, and we'll check it out. And it seems trivial, but it's it's like, you know, Home Depot just doesn't have, you know, like these connectors. Force, you know, yeah. somebody needs the connectors and stuff. They... They don't sell it. They don't have it. They they won't have these strip lights and in uh, twelve volt like uh, some of the ones I've done demonstrations in my other videos with these and ooh gotta yeah, make no, sure that doesn't okay. unreal. Um, but uh, that's right. I'm trying to have everything you need for an entire kit to hook up straight to twelve volt batteries. Yeah. So and, if somebody were to come out here, let's say they're on the road, mm -hmm. um, there's there's space out here, and we could definitely. Uh, between some of the people somebody can get a hold of here in Portland, we can we can get something installed pretty reasonably. And because I do the food cart work and some of the RV work, but um, so people will know it, it is available here in Portland. Just because kind of like you were doing, I was doing for a while. You you were kind of doing business out of the house for a while. For now a while, it's kind of yeah. like Going. now we're in a in a in a location and, uh, and we officially doubled in size last week. Yeah, so yeah. this will be got uh, a second container second going, container, and, and uh, soon we'll this will be a, a showroom. Yeah, well, it'll be like something out of the TV show Defiance. You seen that yet on Sci-Fi? Yeah, we'll have to check it out. All right. All right, well, thanks a lot, and we'll talk more later. Thank you.